Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. I'm Brian, and we are back to working on our curbs. So I've got the back ones pretty much set now where I want them. Uh, so I'm going to bring a little bit of gravel in and just pile it up in front to uh, kind of hold these curbs in place. And then we've got to work on what goes down this side. But before we do that, I've got to pull these ones out from the opposite side so I can get the tractor in here easily to pick them up. Well, that's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Holy mackerel. Yeah, they're just... <laughs> okay, so... Just a little safety note there. I brought this thing up on the forks and instead of leaving the tractor parked right behind me with this thing up in the air, I dropped it down, moved the, pat, the, moved the tractor back into the shade and sat the forks and the box scraper down on the ground, shut it down. No need to have the thing right up behind me, especially right up behind me running while I'm fiddling around with this kind of stuff. Be safe, guys. All right, let's get our line laid out here and we'll see if we can figure out uh, where we want to put this thing. Well, deer season is open and Sam has really got this boy. He's been hunting for a few years. What a beauty. I see a nice roast in my future here. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He has got a girth on him. Oh, look at the four-wheeler. Yeah, he's weighing down the four-wheeler. <laughs> what a beauty. Way to go, Sam. Oh, I'll wait till you get your... So I've been playing kind of a running game of tag with showers the last little while, so I didn't actually film this part. So as you can see, I've got more curbs in. So this is as far as the curbs are going to go on this side. And I've been filling this in with my uh, crushed rock. And it's starting to look pretty good, but in order to 
level this area out. It did have a pretty good slope going down this way. I've got a bit of a bank here of gravel and I'm going to use my uh, topsoil to grade this down on a gentle slope from the edge of the gravel. Before I do that, I want to take the rest of these curbs out because I will need to drive up over this edge to get to the curbs. So we'll get the rest of these out of the way kind of thing and move on towards getting the uh, new curbs in. So. <music> extra work but I think I'm gonna try cutting uh, the ends of these curbs a little bit to get them to uh, match in a little better rather than leaving such a big gap in there well that actually looks pretty good but uh, I need to retreat the end of this. So we'll go get a little bit of the treatment for the log and soak that into the end and then see how it looks in place. All right, there's that curb sitting down in place and that looks way, way better. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, we've actually got sun out today. We were cut short again yesterday because of rain. So we're back to work on the curbs here. So I've got three left to put in. And I've got my little uh, straight line there laid out for them. So we're going to start digging and get the next one in place. I'm quite pleased with how it's coming so far. It, uh, it looks good, especially with the uh, trimmed in corners.
put this. Have you ever noticed that after digging a hole, you put your earth aside and you go to fill it in and you always seem to end up short earth for some reason. <laughs> I don't understand that, but here we are. Well, there we go, guys. All my curbs are in on this side of the driveway. Looks so much better than those chunks of rotten railroad tie that were there. Much tidier. I still have to uh, bring a little more gravel in here. And on this side, I was gonna stop at just two ties, but the th one of the things I don't like about that is how much of my uh, topsoil it would take to bring things up to the edge of the driveway. So I think I'm gonna get two more logs in here and uh, cut them for two more uh, ties. Bring it out a little ways past the stump. That will make things a little easier on my topsoil supply. And I think it would look a little better too. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna get these markers in. It is tricky to see the outline of the driveway once the uh, snow is here. So these will go in on a temporary basis. And then come spring, once the snow is gone, I'll take them back out and put them away and wait for the next winter. Well, guys, we're getting a little closer to uh, having this curb job done. I've got two left to put in, an eight footer and a, a six footer. And that will be it. Well, there we are, folks. The curbs are all done in place. I've got the gravel in, and I am very pleased with how it looks. So my wintertime orange markers are also in place. So we're all set. 
So we have gone from an eight foot opening here to now 14 feet, which gives us lots of room to bring the Jeep in, that kind of thing for unloading groceries and all the other essentials. Plus when our uh, wood pellets come in, they sit right back here, right up against this back curb. And that was a little tight to do that before, but now we're in good shape. So I'm very pleased with how this turned out. And that's another big job off the list. And I think it really makes the uh, entrance to the house look much nicer. Everything is a lot tidier here. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to stay safe out there. And if you've been enjoying the videos, please give it a like. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. It would really help. So thanks again, folks. And we'll see you out on the trails the next time.